Hello. <coughs> hello, hello. Hi. Good evening, Jenny. How are you? I'm, I'm a little tired. Really? Why? Sleep. <laughs> Sleep. Como sueño. Sleepy. Sleepy. A little sleepy. <laughs> okay, perfect, Jenny. Yeah, and but, but well. Mm -hmm. But ready for the class. <laughs> perfect. That's nice. Very nice, Jenny. So, well, welcome for the ones that are joining. Well, do not worry, Jenny, because today is the last class, right? Then we are going to see next week, right? Because tomorrow we don't have classes, right? Until Monday. So, well, welcome, everybody. So, well, it's eight already. We're going to wait a couple of minutes for your classmates to join. But before to do that, guys, let me share you the presentation, right? Well, here, guys, I have the platform, right? So, according to the schedule, guys, we have finished section one, two, three, and already four, right, guys? Or does anybody, um, is there anybody that hasn't finished this unit, guys? Unit number four, anybody? Or everybody finished? Ya todos terminamos unidad cuatro, chicos, yes? Yes. Perfect. So guys, that's very nice because, well, we are, you know, getting things ready because next week, guys, we are going, you know, to be this, we are going to see this part, right, guys? But because we, I mean, we have advanced a lot, we are going to see a couple of things about this unit, right? Remember, guys, next week will be the last week, okay? So be ready, right? Last week will be the next one, right? We're going to finish unit one, unit number five and the exam, right, guys? And with that, we are going to finish this module, okay? So you can, you know, be ready for the next one, right? So that's very nice, guys. Now, you know, before to start with the class today, guys, let's see. I have here this little game for you guys. So I have here so many boxes. So let's see. I'm going to choose, you know, randomly some of you. Let's see. Hello, Anna. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Anna, please choose a box from 1 to 18. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Number 12. Number 12. Let's see. Okay. So we have this alternative. She has midland red hair and she's wearing a blue jumper. She has short brown hair and she's wearing glasses. She's bald and she's wearing a blue jumper. What do you think? Uh, she has a number A. Number A, let's see. Perfect, very nice. Yes, thank you, Anna, very nice. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, let's see. We are going to choose some of you. Let's see who is able here. Hello, Noemi. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Noemi. Please choose one box, right? We have here some boxes, so you can choose whatever you want. And uh, number eight. Number eight. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's wearing a necklace and earrings. He's wearing a watch and a tie, or he's wearing a hat and a tie? A, B, or uh, C? He's wearing a watch and a tie. He's wearing a hat. Um, num, C, yeah. C. Yeah, it's this one. It's number C, yeah. Because he's wearing a hat, right? Hat means sombrero, mm -hmm. right? And tie, corbata, okay? So yes. this one. Okay, yes. thank you, Nami. Now let's You're see. <laughs> thank you. Now let's see. I'm going to choose, let's see. Well, we are already, well, nine. So hello, Dina. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Dina, choose a box, please. Ten. Number 10, let's see. <clears throat> okay, he has brown hair. 
He has black hair or he has red hair? B. Letter B. He has red hair. Perfect. Thank you, Dina. So nice. That was very easy, right? So guys, you can, you know, select one that is easy or not. Now let's see. Claudia, hello. Hello. Hi, Claudia. Please choose one box from here, please. Uh, three. Number three. Let's see. Okay. She has long red hair. She has... Oh, sorry. I click it. Okay, so do not worry. Let's choose this one. So, he is tall and he is short. She is tall and he is short. Or she is young and he's old. What do you think? Um, a. He and she. A. Very nice. He's tall and she is short. Perfect. And apologies for this one. I selected by mistake. Sorry. So thank you, Claudia. That was very nice. And guys, remember, we have time, right? So we have to be ready, right? And hurry up. Now let's see. Hello, Eduardo. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, Eduardo. Please choose one box, please. Mm, box 15. 15. Let's see. Okay. So he's bald and he's wearing glasses. He has so short hair and he's wearing glasses. He's bald and he's wearing a hat. What do you think? Letter A, he's bald and he's wearing glasses. Very nice. He's bald and wearing glasses. Very nice. Thank you, Eduardo. Now let's see. Let's choose another one. Let's see. Hello, Omar. Hello, teacher. Hi, Omar. Good please. Good evening. Please select one, please, one box here. Uh, number 11. Number 11. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, so he has long, straight hair. He has short curly hair, or he has long curly hair. What do you think? Is C. He has long curly hair. This one. Omar? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, no. In this case, that was not curly, guys. Was a stray, right? Era pelo, la, pelo liso, right? But thank you. Okay, now let's see. Well, already we got five, fifth from eight. So no worry, guys. Okay. So now let's move on, guys, because I have here something, you know, extra for you. Remember that yesterday we were talking about one and ones, right, guys? So let's see. I want to know if we, I mean, get the idea. So, guys, I have this sentence. It says, this bag is very old. I need a new one or ones, guys. What do you think? One. 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 Why is one, guys? Explain me, please. Because, because it's, singular. it's singular. It's singular, exactly. This bag singular. is just one, right? Exactly. So, guys, cuando decimos, this bag is very old, y digo, I need a new one. One reemplaza la palabra bag, right? Por ejemplo, this bag is very old. I need a new bag. Okay? Pero es muy repetitivo. Y es por eso que utilizamos one. I need a new one, right? Perfect. Now let's see this one. Small pineapples are sweeter than big. What do you think? One. 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 Perfect. And one is replacing what word, guys? It's replacing... Yeah. Pineapples. 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 Very nice. Now let's see. The new smartphones are much faster than the old. One or ones? Ones. Ones. And ones is replacing? Smartphones. 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 Very nice. So now, which is your car? The black one or ones? One. 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 And one is replacing? Car. car, very nice. Or the white? One. 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 Perfect. 
Now she needs new shoes. The old one or ones. 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 And ones is replacing shoes. 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 Perfect. Now let's see. If you buy two bottles of water, you get the third one. Ones. Ones. One. Bottles. T-shirt mm -hmm. and shoes. No, is no is one. Oh, because no. because yeah yeah Lord. Uh, uh, it um it doesn't pay your shoes. Uh, like what? Sorry. Um. Well, no shoes. I mean, shoes. They are sick. They are plural because I mean so. Shoes, um, they are two, right? Because they are two, that means that they are plural, right? Because they are two. It's like gyms. Gyms, um, if you see a gyms, it's like, but you see just one, right? But in English, gyms are plural, right? Like shoes. So shoes, because they are two. If I say one pair of shoes, so that's mean one, okay? One pair of shoes. But if I say shoes, I mean the two. Okay, two of them. Okay. Okay. Do we get it? Yeah. Yes, Eduardo. Oh, there is. Okay. Okay, perfect. Very nice. So well, now uh let's see. Just sorry, my the screen just get um frozen. Let's see. Uh do you can you see my screen, guys? Yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, now. So, okay. okay so. Yeah, now, now I can see it. Okay. So, well, we were in this, right? So, shoes once, right? Now, what about this one, guys? You get the third one, one. or once? One, one, right? The third one, right? Free. Now we have this one. Mm. These dresses are expensive. Are there any cheap? One or ones? Ones. These dress. Okay. Now, Jack has three pants. A red. One. Ones. One. One or ones? One. One. A red one and two green. One, one, one. One, exactly. Two, right? Two green ones. I would like to have a cupcake. The red one or ones? One. One. One, perfect. I would like to have some cupcakes. The green one or one? One. One. One, right? So now, guys, let's see. Okay, so we have it here, you see? The big, the bag is very old. Once, once, one. You see, once shoes. The old ones are too small. Okay. This one. And if you have any question, guys, remember that we also have verb to be, right? R for plural, right? Is is for singular, right? Now, guys, let's see. Now, let me move on because I have here, you know, the PowerPoint for tonight. So, let's see. So guys, for the ones that are joining, let me ask you something. Do we, well, do we all finish the unit number four, the exercises? We finish that? Ya terminamos los ejercicios, chicos, de la unidad cuatro, todos? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very nice. Yes, guy, because um, tomorrow, I mean, today is the last day to finish the exercises, okay, for unit Four, because tomorrow they are going to check it, okay? And next week, guys, will be the last week, okay? The last week, and we are going to finish this module, okay? So now, guys, let's see. I have this one that is about describing people. So, guys, do you remember that in this unit we saw some questions, right? How to make questions in order to describe people. So let's see. What about the first one, guys? We have this one. What is the question that is appropriate for this one? My brother is 26. What is this question, guys? The question will be? How old is your, How old is your brother? 
how is your brother? Exactly. Oh. Or how old is your brother? Oh. Very oh. nice. Perfect. Now let's see this one. Um, 173 centimeters, which means five feet eight. What how is it called? How tall are you? How tall? Exactly. How tall are you? Now this one. Sharon has brown hair. What is the question here? What does she look like? Mm. What does Sharon look like? Look. Yeah, I can Sharon be like that. Like. Yeah. But what about, uh, guys, when we made this question about hair, do you remember that we have some questions about hair? Do you remember? You can have? Yeah, in this case. How long? Well, how long means como cual, que tan largo, right? Mm -hmm. In este caso, because I'm telling brown hair, so I mentioned the color, right? Color. So mm -hmm. the question will be what color is Sharon mm -hmm. hair, right? Like okay. this one. What color is Sharon's hair? Mm -hmm. Wait, sorry. Now let's see um, this one. No, she wears contact lenses. What do you think, guys? What question? Anybody? Is, is she, wear is a she wearing a contact lens? Lenses? Is she wearing? Yeah, that, that can be a question. Yeah, that's totally correct. Yeah. And another way, guys, that we can that we can make this question is does she wear okay does she wear glasses does she or contact wear lenses? lenses no well does she wear glasses no she wears contact lenses right now this one guys he's tall and good looking what question is that you you mentioned before guys he's tall and what good look like what what does he look, look like look like Exactly. What does he look like? Perfect. What does he look like? Perfect. Now let's see number six. My sister's hair is medium length. So guys, what is that? How long? How long? How long, How long? How long? How long is your sister high? Is your sister hair? Perfect. No hair. 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 Perfect. And the last one, I have dark brown eyes. What is this one? Mm -hmm. what, what color? What color uh, is your eyes? Okay, what color? Mm -hmm. Pero recordemos que eyes son dos, ¿verdad? Are, Por lo tanto es plural, are, right? Are your are eyes. Are your eyes. Exactly. So are we have here, guys. You see? How old is your brother? Okay, we have this one. So, guys, do we have any question about this one? Tenemos alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Yes, no? No? Everything is clear? Yes? Okay, perfect. Very nice. Okay, now, guys, let me move on because I have here this one for you, okay? So this is an exercise that we are going to do, okay? We are going to work in breakout rooms, okay, in groups. So guys, this is the thing that we are going to do. We are going to choose one character and we are going to start to describe it. And your classmates, they are going to guess who is the character, okay? Vamos, así como dicen las instrucciones aquí, chicos. Vamos a trabajar en grupos eh, y vamos a jugar esto. Uno de ustedes va a escoger un, uno de estos personajes y lo va a empezar a describir, ¿ok? Como se mira, ¿ok? Lo va a empezar a describir y sus compañeros tienen que adivinarlo, ¿ok? So like this one. Let me send you this photo to the WhatsApp group so you can get it, ¿ok? So guys, let me, you know, divide you and break up room so we can work, right? So let's see. Ok, perfect. So now guys, let's see. You can accept the invitation so we can start working, ¿ok? You have already the photo, and if you want, you can take a screenshot or you can take a photo. That's okay, right? 
Let's see. Let's practice, right, guys?
Okay, welcome back. Welcome, guys. So, well, I hope you have practiced, I mean, this exercise, guys. So, we're going to wait for the rest to join. Welcome. So, guys, now that you are here, we are going, you know, to practice here. So, I'm going to choose, okay, some of you, okay, and you are going, you know, to choose one character, okay, and we are start to describe it, okay? The person is going to start to describe the character and the rest of the class is going to guess who is the character, okay? Like this game. Do we get it, guys? Yes? Yeah? Okay, so let's see. I'm going to choose one of you that is going to describe. So let's see. Um, hello, Roxana. Hello. Hi, Roxana. Um, please um, start to describing one of these character and the class is going to guess who is the character, okay? So let's start to describing, okay? One of them, okay? I describe? Yeah, please. Um, she is older woman. She, we are a cow, and she, uh, we are, um, how do you say, pendientes? Uh, earrings. 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 And then how is, um, Gray. Okay. Gray hair. Okay. She has gray hair. She has gray hair. She's wearing earrings. She's wearing earrings. She's wearing a crown. A crown. Okay. Perfect. Very nice. Okay. So, guys, who of this character is he or she? Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. Perfect. Very nice. Yeah. Is that one right, Roxana? Yes. Perfect. Very nice. Now let's see. Hello, Lorena. Hello, teacher. Hi, Lorena. Please choose one character and start to describe it, please. Okay. He is tall. Okay. He has black eyes. Eyes. Mm -hmm. Eyes, perdón. Mm -hmm. he, he wears a suit. Okay. He has black eyes. Black eyes, okay. Um, he is handsome. He is he... handsome, perdón. Okay, he's... He is... Okay. Uh, and intelligent. Is intelligent. She, okay. she has medium age. Medium age. Okay. He's me. He is medium age. He is. Okay. So guys, who is him? Who is him? He is Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Okay. So Lorena, is he Barack Obama? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Very nice. Nice, very nice. Now let's see the last one. Hello, Janira. Hello, teacher. Hi, Janira. Can you choose one of these characters and describe it, please? Of course. Um, he is white complexion. Okay, nice. He has he has brown hair. Okay. Uh, he has mustache. He has a mustache, okay. Um, uh, he has a big nose. He has a big nose, very fair. He has uh, uh, brown eyes. Brown eyes, okay. Anything else? Um, he's tall and he's... Mm -hmm. medium height. Medium high, perfect, very nice. Okay. Only. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Yanira. Very nice. So, guys, who okay, is him? Sure. 
Tomás González. González. Tomás González. Perfect. Very nice. So nice guy. So it means that you can describe people. That's really excellent. Perfect. Now, guys, well, before to continue, I have here something for you. So, guys, I'm going, you know, to show you, you know, before to move to the other unit, I'm going to show you, you know, in order to be clearer, right? So, we're going to have this question. So, you see in this question that we used to make, right? So, let's, you know, let's ask some of you. So, let's see. Um, Jenny, hello. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Hi, let me ask you this question. How old is your brother? Uh, my brother is uh, 52 years old. Perfect, very nice. So that's the way we can answer, perfect. Now let's see, Amber, hello, Amber. Hello, teacher. Hi, Amber, let me ask you this question. How tall are you? 1.63 centimeter. Perfect, very nice. Thank you, Amber. Yeah, that's the way we can answer, guys. Now let's see, Salvador, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Salvador, let me ask you this question. What color is Sharon's hair? Mm, is brown, brown hair. Is brown hair perfect? Perfect, uh -huh. very nice. Now let's see. Um, Jennifer Torres, hello. Hello. How? Let me ask you this question. Does she wear glasses? No. No, she doesn't. Perfect. Very nice. So, guys, now let's see. Well, we have this exercise, and we have here some others, right? That. I mean, are for describing people. So let's see, we have, you know, these adjectives. For example, Nicole Kidman is gorgeous, thin, young, right? Nicole Kidman has blue eyes, long red hair, okay? Like this one. We have also Elvis, you see, like these adjectives, right? Remember, when can we use verb to be and when can we use has, right? Remember. And we have this, right? Jack Sparrow, okay, Einstein. So now, guys, let's move on. I want to show you this part, okay? So remember that we were talking about which one, right, guys? So we have these questions about this picture that we have here. Let me ask, let's see, who do I have here? Uh, Claudia, hello. Hello. How, Claudia, let me ask you this question. Where are they? Where are they? Um, they are uh, friends. So. Um. Yeah, they are friends. But the question is where? Where wow. is done there? Ah. Uh, este. They. They are. Uh, um. Party. Okay, they are in a party. Yeah, I can. Yeah, perfect. Very nice. Thank you. Now let's see. Um, Eduardo. Let me ask you this question. What are they doing? Um, they are dancing. Or... Okay. They are dancing, yeah. Some of them are dancing, right? Others are just talking. Perfect. Now, um, drinking. drinking. Yeah, drinking, perfect, yeah. Now let's see, we have these questions, guys. Remember, where is Maggie? at the concert, where is Julia near to the window? Does Julia know anyone at the party? No, she doesn't. So guys, we have this one, you remember? Who is Joe, okay? I can say Joe is the man or the one wearing um, a yellow shirt, okay? Now let's see, let me ask some of you for the rest of the character. Let's see, Ever, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Ever. Let me ask you, who is Michiko? Chico. Uh, yes. She, she is the 
one uh, talking with Joe. Okay. Okay. Michiko. Okay. She's Michiko. Ah. Mich okay. Mich okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Pues sería. Eh, she's the one mm -hmm. eh, wearing eh, yeah. gray um, blues, eh, gray, okay. gray pants and blues. Very nice, perfect. Oh, so well, let's see now. Let's see, um, Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Sandra? Hello. Hello. Hi, Sandra, let me ask you, who is Michiko? <laughs> Michiko. Mm -hmm. She is... Is, is she he is or tall. she? Is she? Okay, she. Is she? She's tall. Is, mm -hmm. She's uh, she tall. Mm -hmm. She's uh, wearing gray jacket. Okay. She is wearing jeans. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Thank you, Sandra. Also, we can say as well, remember, we use participles, right? So in this case, Sandra used participles. She's the one wearing. Remember, she's the one wearing. Or we can also use, remember, guys, preposition. Michiko is the one next to the window, okay? Next to the window, right? So like this one. Now, guys, let's see. Let me ask anyone else. Um, let's see, Noemi. Noemi, tell me, who is Rosa? Rosa is uh, next to the windows. Okay, next to the window. In, in the red high. She's wearing? Okay. Wearing in... Uh, dress in the violeta. Violet. She's violet. Okay. Perfect. And She's... shoes. And shoes. A uh, black. Okay. So she's wearing a violet dress, right? Perfect. And a violet dress. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's see. Uh, let me choose now. Um, Lorena. Let's see, Lorena. Who is John? He, he is in front to the window. Okay. He's the one in front of the window. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he is tall. No, perdón. He is medium short. Medium short. Oh, he's, he's medium height. Okay. Medium height, perdón. Uh, he is dancing. He's dancing. Perfect. Very nice. Dancing. Thank you. Okay. So now, thank you. Thank you, Rena. Now, guys, we have here, right? So who is it? So John. John, he's the man dancing in the living room. She's the one, Rosa, wearing a dress. She's the Japanese woman with dark hair, Michiko. He's the one with white pants, Joe. Okay, like this one, you see guys? So remember that we can use participles or prepositions when we are describing people, right guys? So like this one, you see? Who's Raul? He's the man wearing a green shirt. Oh, he's the one wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz, right? Like this one. Who is Liz? She's the woman with, okay? With is a preposition, right? With. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They are the people next to the window, right? Like this one, guys. So let's see. Well, we have here, you know, the list that we have for the participle, the preposition, sorry. So guys, let's see. Let me move on because now, well, we have this exercise, okay, guys? This exercise will be individual. So guys, this is the thing that we are going to do. In a notepad, in a Word document, or in your notebook, guys, we are going to type this one. We are going to make a, an email, okay? Un correo electronico, guys. So we are going to make an email and we are going to 
at least eight sentences. Okay, vamos a escribir al menos eight sentences, que significan ocho párrafos, right? So, guys, for example, we are going to make an email. You and your friend are meeting another friend later today. Write an email describing yourself, okay? You must include physical appearance with modifiers, okay, guys? So, vamos a escribir un email, guys, a otro amigo que lo vamos a encontrar, okay? Y nos vamos a describir, okay? So, for example, we have this one, okay? We will meet you, dear Susie, okay? Le estaba escribiendo a Susie el correo, okay? You can say, dear Susie, dear friend, or whoever, right? We will meet you at 8 p.m. My friend Julie will come with me, okay? Ustedes van a describirse con otro amigo que ustedes tienen, okay? Y que se van a reunir con otro, okay? Le van a escribir a otro amigo que usted y su amigo van a ir, okay? Van a llegar ahí y se van a describir, okay? For example, we are both in our 20s. Estamos en nuestros 20s, right? We are the ones wearing flowers in our hair, you see? Wearing flowers. I have wavy blonde hair, okay? Blonde hair, this one. And Julie has wavy brown hair, you see? I am fairly sure, but my friend is medium height. I am the one wearing a blue tank top, and Julie is the one with a white shirt and red boots. Which one are you? See you soon. Sincerely, Britain, okay? So like this, all right, guys? Ustedes pueden escribirlo, okay? Pueden describir su cabello, la ropa que van a llevar, sus ojos, okay? Su complexion, everything, okay? Y también van a escribir a un amigo, okay? But we are going to do it using, lo vamos a hacer utilizando, chicos, los modifiers, okay? Prepositions, in, okay? On, right? With, y también recordemos los participles, right? Wedding, okay, I am the one wedding, okay, like this one. So guys, let me, okay, you can do it, guys. It can be on, lo pueden hacer en un documento Word, en un notepad o en su cuaderno, right? Lo único que tienen que hacer es enviar la foto, okay, al grupo de WhatsApp. So guys, let's start right now, and if you have any question, let me know, okay? Empecemos ya, chicos, ya les envié igual la foto para que puedan verlo, pero igual. De aquí lo van a tener. Ustedes pueden, okay, tomar copy if you want, or you can do it by your own, okay? Este es como van a escribir el correo, okay? Recuerden, es un correo, right? Al final tienen que poner sincerely, okay, y su nombre, right? Like this one. So, guys, let's start, please. If you have any question, let me know, okay? Teacher, disculpe, no logré escuchar qué tenemos que hacer. Que me ocupé un momento. Hola, hola. Hola, si gusta le explico porque no sé, no sé si teacher me puede abrir. Sí, por Uh, hay que hacer un, un correo, dijo él ahorita, este, eh, describiéndonos a nosotros y de, describiendo a un amigo. Pero el correo es como que se lo estamos dirigiendo a otra persona que nos, con la que nos vamos a encontrar. Entonces hay que describirnos nosotros para que, como que la otra persona nos, nos reconozca. Yes, exactly. Sorry, I was talking in mute, guys. Estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. Sorry, but thank you, Sandra. Thank you very much. So, yeah. So, yeah, lo que vamos a hacer, chicos, okay, at least eight sentences, right? Vamos a describirnos a nosotros y a un amigo que vamos a encontrar a otro amigo, okay? Le vamos a escribir primero a una persona, a un amigo, que nosotros vamos a llegar, okay? Vamos a escribirle un email, un correo, describiéndonos, okay? So, tenemos este ejemplo aquí, okay? So, dear Susie, okay? Al final del correo, tiene que ir sincerely, ¿ok? Y su nombre, ¿ok? So, let's start, guys. Ustedes lo pueden hacer en Word, en un notepad, 
o lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno, ¿ok? Como ustedes gusten. Lo único que tienen que hacer es siempre mandar la foto, ¿ok? Que lo han hecho, ¿ok? No importa de qué manera lo hayan hecho, ¿ok? O dónde. Solo necesito la foto o screenshot, right? And if you have any question, you can let me know, ¿ok, guys? So remember, here are the rules that we have in this room. Tratemos de usar, chicos, los modifiers, ¿ok? Los participles y si se puede, las prepositions, right? So, por ejemplo, I am the one wearing a blue shirt mm -hmm. with, with black shoes, okay? Like this one. So, let's start doing, okay, guys, before finishing, right? If you have any question, don't hesitate in telling me, okay? Okay, come on, guys. Any question, just let me know, okay, about the activity. I recommend you guys to use um, those participles, right? Participles and preposition, right? So you, can, you will see that you won't have to repeat, okay, the words, okay? Let's try to do it, okay? By the way, guys, remember that next week will be the last one, okay? The last week, so we are going to finish finally the module, right? So we have to be ready, okay? Remember, unit number four must to be finished, okay? Today is the last day, okay? To finish unit number four. So all the exercises must, must to be finished, right? Because tomorrow in the morning, they are going to check it, okay? Or going to check how it's going on, okay? So please finish all the exercises from unit four, okay? Unit five, we are going to see next week, okay? We're going to see next week, unit number five. And we are going to have, guys, a topic that is very important in English, okay? The topic, I mean, it's really, but really important because, I mean, it's really common, okay? So don't miss the next class, okay, on Monday, because on Monday we are going to learn about this topic, okay? There is the present perfect, okay, present perfect. And um, well, also next week, you know, the last day that will be on Thursday will be um, the exam, right? The exam that we always have. So guys, you can, I mean, this weekend you can start doing, okay, the uh, unit number five if you want, okay? If you have time and if you think that you're ready, you can start doing or just studying, right? You need number five. So guys, let's see. Okay. So guys, 
So I guess everybody's finishing, right? The exercise. Okay, so I have received the first one. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Sincerely, okay. Very nice, ever. Perfect. So nice. Okay, so guys, um, one of you have finished. So come on, guys. Um, if you don't know any word, guys, remember. Yeah. I have a question. Cuando Podemos decir, I am the one wearing. Yeah, you can say that. All right. Of course, yes, I am the one. You can say, I'm, I am the one wearing, right? That's totally correct. Also, you can okay. say, I am the okay. one with black shirt, for example. So that's okay. totally correct. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So nice, guys. So well. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Can I say we are the ones wearing pink shoes and white dress? Oh, yeah, of course. And the same yeah. Thing. yeah, you can do it and that. You're welcome. So perfect, guys. I like it. I like that you are asking about that. Perfect. Now, guys, let's see. Well, you can continue doing that, right, guys? So do not worry. But at least, I mean, you, you can, I mean, you have to send that, you know, tonight, right? So guys, let me, you know, give you an advance, you know, because we are running out of time. Let me give you an advance, guys, about the things that we are going to see next week, okay? So let me share you here the screen. So guys, I have here, first of all, because we are going to see next week, guys, present perfect, right? We are going to see present perfect. First of all, guys, I want to explain you something, okay? Guys, we have different times, okay, in English, like in Spanish. In this case, guys, we have different verbs. So, for example, guys, we have verbs in present and past, but also we have verbs in past participle, okay, guys? Past participle. So, for example, guys, in present, we have this verb that is go, okay, go, okay? What is the past of go? is went, right, went. So guys, what is the past participle of go? The past participle of go is gone, okay, gone. Okay, like this one. This is irregular, right, guys? So this is the thing that I want to show you. There are three times, okay? Present, past, and past participle, according to the verbs, okay? In verbs, we have this one, you see? I have this example here. Also, guys, we have this one. We have see, okay, in present. So, in past. In past participle, seen, okay? We have the verb have, have or has, you see? This is present. In past, we have had. And in past participle, we also have had, okay? It's the same one, had, had, okay? Now, guys, we also have this verb, eat. You know, eat means, you know, comer, right? In past, ate, right? Ate. And in past participle, eaten, okay? Eaten. You see? Like this one. Now, guys, we have the verb run. In past, run. In past participle, is wrong as well. You see? And now the verb sing. Sing, cantar. Sang, 
Okay, is the past of sing, cantor, right? And now we have soon, okay? Soon, cantado, right? Cantado, like this one. Si, ver. So, vio. Sin, visto. You see, guys? Do we all notice? Así es como funciona el past participle, okay? Eat, comer. Ate, comió. Eating, comido, okay? Now this one, guys. This is the most common verb, el verbo to be, guys. Be in present, right? Be que significa is or are, okay? In past, was or were. Y en past participle, being, okay? Being, like this one. So be significa ser or estar, right? This one. So this is past participle, okay, guys? Now, let me, you know, show you something else. Guys, about the activity that we are doing, la actividad que estamos haciendo, guys, no se preocupen, okay? Pueden enviarla el resto de la noche, right? Si no lo han terminado, pueden enviarla. Do not worry. Now, guys, let me show you something here. So, see, oh, sorry, this one. Let me show you. I have here something for you. Uh, this one. So, we are going to see more verbs, okay? So, tenemos en presente y en past participle, sin, okay? Sin. Sin, presente, song, past participle. Hear, okay? Que escuchar, presente. Heard, past participle. Drink, beber. Past participle, drunk, bebido, right? Wake up. Okay, present. Walking up, past participle. Okay, hang, present. Hung, past participle. Show, present. Shown, past participle. So, guys, do we have any question about the past participles? So, chicos, let me explain you something. Estos son los verbos que vamos a estar utilizando, okay? Si no conocíamos eso, pues esto es un adelanto, ¿ok? Recordemos, tenemos los verbos en presente, pasado, y los tenemos también en past parts, o past parts y por eran los que yo les estaba mostrando, ¿ok? ¿Por qué les estoy enseñando esto? Porque vamos a ver un nuevo tema, ¿ok? La siguiente clase que se llama el present perfect, ¿ok? Present perfect, el presente perfecto, chicos, es donde se utilizan los past parts, ¿ok? Los verbos en past parts, ¿ok? So, guys, well, uh, well, time is over for tonight, guys. El tiempo ya se nos acabó por hoy. Pero, bueno, la siguiente clase, que es, bueno, que ya es la siguiente semana, que es la última semana, okay, guys? So, be ready because we are almost finishing, okay, guys? So, what's nice to see you guys tonight, and I hope to see you on Monday, okay? Remember, tomorrow we don't have classes, right? Tomorrow, no. Until Monday, okay? So, guys, nice to see you tonight and see you on Monday, okay? Take care. Nice to see you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 B